Well this is the cylinder head on. I just stuck the torque wrench through the cam chain, it's tied up anyway. I've just put in the three cylinder head retaining bolts, one, two and three. They were bagged up. I'll just uh, tie them up a little bit, I'm not going to torque them because they have to be torqued in sequence when the, when the cover's on. Another drink of tea and press on. The cam is on. You'll see that the bearings, I took the bearings off, slipped the cam itself under the chain. Oh, a bit of a tight fit, a bit of manipulation, perfect. And of course this, you can't see there, there we go. We have some play, enough to put these bearings on. And I shall do that, I shall slip those on and position them. Next stage, I've got the cam on, it's at top dead centre and we've got the mark on the cam, vertical pointing to 12 o'clock. Top dead centre and I've marked my uh, PMA, the, the flywheel down there, at, at, at top dead centre. So I'm all ready to time it up. Now I haven't put the bearings in exactly yet. Because I want to make sure that the cam uh, gear is in, in dead centre, right in the middle there where it should be. And I'm going to put these bearings to the inner, to the inner side of the cylinder head. I'll allow the seals to go on that side. Yeah, piece of advice for anybody. Oh dear, I struggled, I have to say. I put the link in when it was, when the cylinder, when the jugs were off. As if I haven't got a riveting tool. I didn't want to damage the chain or, or this gear by putting the link there and then using some force to tap down the, the ends of, of the link. I wish I had, because actually it wouldn't have been that difficult but it certainly was difficult getting the chain on with with this mark vertical of course I realized that was its tightest position anyway so I did it I got it to uh, top dead center eventually and set everything up now I can do that put the cylinder head on well, the cut with the cylinder heads on the uh, the cover well just getting ready to put the cylinder head cover on, the rocker cover. Here it is. I've got some some elements from my gasket set. I'm just going to turn this over. One, two, three, four sleeves in these outer bolts here. Just take that one out as you can see. It's got an orange o-ring on. There's some kind of stuff in there. Perhaps it's some sealant in there. Well, I've got replacement o-rings to put in. Now, I know there is some wisdom there in xs650.com that suggests putting copper washers in there. Well, I've got there are no copper washers in my in my set. I don't have any. I don't think I have spare ones. I certainly don't have any this size. So in fact, if I can find them, I may well put the copper washers in. Otherwise, I should clean these sleeves up and replace them with the old rings there. So there are four. You can see four, and they go into the outer, into the outer. Well, I've, I've released them. Quite easy to release. Not release that one. Simply get a, a tool and tap very gently. Don't make any marks or damage. Tap them down. They'll come out without any trouble. There we are. I'll go ahead and do it. So that's the new uh, seals put on these little sleeves. Uh, so one, two, well, let's go. One, that's in. Two, push down. Three, that's in. Four, that's in. Well, let's give it a little push down. Yep, that's it. Four done. 
just got back and uh, tidy up my cam and bearing position. Then on goes that cover. Yep, I think that looks good enough. I would give it a 10 minutes or so just gently tapping at the bearing using a socket. Just tapping and tapping until the inner race of the bearings, well, the inner face of the bearings was flush with the inner inner surface of that cylinder head. Okay, good. I'm happy with that. Cover's ready to go on. Everything's in order there. Check. Top dead center. I've checked. It's top dead center. The piston is up there. And my PMA is marked. Good. Here we go. Just a couple of things to mention before I put this on. Make sure that the the rocker mechanism is released. As you see, I've taken mine right back flush with the arm here. And the other thing is, be careful where you put this sealant. Now, the sealant... Yep, the battery died on the camera while I was talking about, about the rocker cover. As you can see, uh, I've got my rocker cover on, and I've got the, the uh, eight nuts Place, finger tight, and I'll put the other the four cylinder head bolts on in a moment. Just wanted to mention that thing I was just saying. When you're putting the sealant on, be very careful not to block up this hole. If you didn't know, that's for the breather. That's a very small breather. There we go, there's a breather. If you block that up, it could lead to all kinds of problems. Let's move on. Four cylinder head bolts. I knew where they were, they were in a bag, of course, and labelled. I've just opened them and in they go. Back soon. Well, I put the cylinder head on and made sure, first of all, that these, all these mechanisms, all these arms, these rockers were released completely. Didn't want to put any pressure on. So there are. The bolts and the nuts were in the bags as you came straight out, and this is the this is the order. The big nuts they go to 36.3 newton meters. These smaller ones, these uh, that's a 12 millimeter socket goes on here. 17 goes on the bigger ones down here. I think that's a 13, and round the back there have to use a spanner 10 millimeter so the order to do it incrementally the big ones are 36 uh, was it 30.6 30.6 Newton meters these are 20 um, Newton meters it's all in your manual look at the manual don't don't rely on me down here 8.8 .8 Newton meters same on the other side and same at the back Yep, that's cool. This is the order in which you bolt them down. You do it incrementally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You may have gone out of order there, doesn't matter. Nine, round at the far side. Ten, this side. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. If you keep to that order or something very, very similar, tighten down incrementally, it'll all be sealed down properly. I didn't use much sealer at all, but as you can see, it's coming out. And I kept it towards this side, the outer side of the cylinder head. I didn't want See, look, even, even though I'm so very careful, it does go on the inside. I much prefer not to have bits of these things uh, floating around in the oil. But there we are. Next stage. Let's get this oil feed pipe back on. Getting ahead of myself here. Got the cam chain adjuster in a bag there. The nice shiny 
plate on the back of the adjustment housing and the gutter one. There's a gasket and there are six retaining bolts. 10 millimeter head there. Right, let's get to it. Of course, I'll put a bit of Loctite and make and I'll insert that. Here we go. There's the um, cover of the cam chain adjuster mechanism on. I'm going to slide this in here. I'm going to take this uh, cover nut off first. Well, it looks like I've hit a problem here. The cam chain adjuster is in. It's flush at the end. I know I've got a. Well, I know that the cam chain is actually fairly tight uh, on the cam. I was a bit concerned about that. Anyway, I've, I've, I've put the cam chain adjuster in. Uh, if I just do a kickstart, you'll see. Yep, there's a, a millimeter in or in and out. That's fine. But there's the cover nut. If I if I put that on, it only goes to there. There is a gap. So this isn't right. There's something wrong. If I adjust, if I make it tighter, this is no good. It really is just making the chain tighter. It's already out there now, and it comes out another what, millimeter, two millimeters, and that represents on this. This is the other. This is a spare cam chain adjuster that represents hitting against the the metal sleeve. It adjusts no more. It's as tight as it can go that chain, and it's so tight that this cover won't go on. Conclusion, that's a wrong cam chain they've sent me. It's at least, it must be a link too short. A link in that cam chain too short. What do you think fellas? I'm not going any further until I know. This is the cam chain that they sent me. DID 219 FTS in brackets F push cam chain. And on the side it says DID 219 FTS in brackets S 106L. Is this the correct cam chain? 1979 special. Help. have got it all um, going this evening but just have to be patient there's no way I'm going to start this motor with a, a, a tight cam chain and not being able to get the cam chain and adjust a nut over the fitting and snugly uh, against the plate otherwise I'm going to have oil pouring out I do have an option I suppose of packing out that cam chain adjuster with a, a rubber seal. I'm not happy with that idea. I want I want to know if I should get a, a longer cam chain and then I'll do the proper job.